Hello, what's up, guys? I'm coming to another episode of my tutorial on how to explain how to see the case of this. It's been a long time since I uploaded my last video, I was so busy these days. But recently, with this coronavirus thing, I had much more free time, so I decided to record the third episode of this tutorial. Okay, just have a quick refresh. In the last two episodes, first we talked about the silly data tragedy. We talked a lot about it, but I'm going to give you all the topics. So if you haven't watched those topics or you have forgot those, uh, right now go back to this video because you can both understand the video. Uh, first we talked about how we can import data from simulate from X to simulate uh, encode this data, parse this data. Then we talked about sending data commands to display from someone which was a little bit of a challenge. In this tutorial, we are going to combine those topics together and create a real code. A software in the loop search, which means, for example, for the simplest example, I decided to demonstrate a video. If there is an automatic to control loop, try to zero the Roll angle at any time. Very simple, just for example. We receive information from XPlane, which is uh, roll angle, and we send a command for ailerons to make it level with a PID control. Okay, without losing time, let's uh, go to work and see what we should do. I'm going to use exactly the last uh, file that is available in GitHub. I will put the link in the description. I'm going to combine those files and create a new file for you. The GitHub link is available here and also in the description. Okay, let's start with this uh, Simulink implementation. You can see there are several bugs here. I will go through each one of them step by step. The first one is the sensor, which is exactly the block that we have discussed in the first tutorial, first episode. All it does is receiving data, you see. Uh, many data that we have received in the first tutorial but I decided to use only the roll angle and you can see the local uh, IP and local port these two ports should remain the same and the IP address is the local host because we are using everything on the computer uh, full description and tutorial is available in the tutorial episode number one so you can refer to it and understand what we are doing here and this is the code for parsing the data. Okay, the next part is exactly the blocks that we had for the second episode. You see everything is almost the same. There is a MATLAB function that is creating the packets that should be sent to explain the header creation, syntaxes, the checksum, everything is happens here, the data conversion. I'm not going through that because it's a long tutorial. You can refer to, to them in the last tutorial. Okay, this is the new block that we have in this tutorial. This is a block that is called controller and also this one, minus 999. I've created a switch here so I can manually enable or disable the controller. If I switch the controller to minus 999 it means that it's uh, not control loop is not sending command to explain so everything is by the manual control if I activate the switch the simulink will send command there is a box here that uh, you can not only make the role 0 you can make the role any value that you want for example 5 minus 5 2 it gives the more dynamic so you can follow what it's happening this is a uh, our controller you can see PID and all of them is connected to a constant block which, uh, and we are using continuous system you can use discrete system as well these are the fundamental of control so you might you must be familiar with this and I put the mode to external because I want to change the PID during the simulation one thing that you should take care of is here in saturation the maximum and minimum should be taken care of because the aileron command is between plus one and minus one so we don't want to send command more than those everything is the same here but uh, remember the data type that we can send through UDP is single 
the but the data type we are working on it in explain in simulink is double so we get the data from a simulink convert it to double do the calculation in the PID controller and ag again convert it to the single after doing the comparison we convert it to single and then send it back to explain this is the part and I think everything uh, uh, these are the boxes the, uh, from the dashboard gate which are new in simulink you can change the value uh, during the runtime this is a gauge attitude gauge from simulink uh, dashboard gauge very simple you click on it and connect it to one of the singles that you have and this is the live uh, scope and this is the real time synchronization that I told you in the last episode but before using that you should install the package here by this command I already have it I'm just having a quick review but you should uh, refer to the last tutorial for this one and remember you should put the UDP rate for example at two, 20 Hz and assign the time sample rates according to that for example for 20 Hz you should set the sample time to 0 0.0 5 both in the receiving block and the real time synchronization in receiving time you can also set it even lower so nothing will happen so it will search for the packet even sooner okay and uh, you remember you should check exact data that we want uh, so this is exactly the same as the tutorial number one. You, sh you must uh, check only the data that we need. That I have already, uh, you saw in the picture. That's ready, everything is ready. Our explained simulation is running as you can see. Now I'm going to put it on manual because at the beginning I want to control the airplane by myself. So I put it to manual and the earlier on command would be minus 999, which means untouched so everything is working right now you see that the attitude is working i have the control for the airplane i put it on a roll a steady roll angle which as you can see here i have minus four uh, for the role and then activated the controller you see that it's come to a stabilized point now I can change the PID according to the value that I want let's put it back to manual and again put the airplane in for example minus 10 degrees of roll Now I want to just demonstrate a very uh, interesting concept for you which is a steady state error. I put the zero for I term and D term and then activated the PID controller. You can see it kind of stabilized but the roll angle is not zero. It is stabilized to another value which is about one degree here. It depends on the situation and the dynamic so it's not going to zero it's also stopped at one degree that's because steady state error is available in this system it depends on the degree of the system now look what happens if i change the item i give a little bit of item to our to our pid controller <coughs> and immediately we'll see what will happen to my uh, controller and system You see the value started to decay maybe a little bit more I will work better but you see the concept now the system starts to oscillate a little and that's because we don't have a D term in it so we can add the D term and the oscillation will be less and less these are very interesting thing that you can play uh, play with it and see what's happened you can increase the sample time, increase the P term, I term, and see what will happen. For example, I put a D term, and you will see the oscillation will be a little bit less. You must analyze it uh, on a graph or a scope to see the exact better effects. Okay, 
and this is the desired row line here for example i put it to three degrees and see the desired value is three and the airplane is trying to maintain the airplane at three degrees row line here interesting and again i'm going to change it back to zero you can also see the value on the scope but there's a problem here because i am i am recording and my computer here is not very fast when i open the scope the <laughs> simulation will a bit not respond and some uh, it will be stopped and sometimes i also face with errors but you can see it's working I stop it and then you can uh, sh see the scope after stopping the complete scope of the operation. And you can see a, a half circular gate just above the attitude. This is the control that we are sending to elevator. It is between minus one and one. This is the commanded aileron command. Okay. It's just show the concept to you. This is it. This is the uh, one of them is the roll angle, and the other one is the command. The top one is roll angle, and the bottom one is the command. I think that's it. We talk about everything. This is the software in the loop simulation. You can do whatever you want with this. It's just a concept. Right now, you now you can create heading hold or maybe uh, improve this wing level the rear wing level doesn't work only with the roll angle it just uh, it also works with angular velocity around the x-axis so you can feed back the p term of the angular uh, angular velocity and based on that you have another PID inside this loop so it will be much more better it's just a concept and you can have uh, you can implement some better example. Okay, for the next episode, maybe I create some other control loops for you, or maybe I create a hardware in the loop for you. Let me know if you have any idea or anything you would like, and let me know if you have, uh, if you need help with your projects and the handling. It. And remember to like, subscribe if you like, and comment me what you think about the tutorials and what topics you want me to cover in the next episode. Thank you and happy simulator. Goodbye, thank you for watching.